hold up wait a minute i just realized that i forgot to say it's your girl nicola it's your girl nicola <laughs> Good morning, 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 morning. <laughs> so today we're not doing a tutorial. We are here to talk about being safe in this Corona COVID-19 time and crisis. It's now a global crisis because um, unfortunately it just spread across many countries. So it's national. It's a national outbreak in different countries and other nations met the globe. So it's now a global crisis. So everybody's freaking out like people wearing masks left, right and center. Like <laughs> whether they're sick or not, them just wearing the mask. Um, everybody's on long sleeve. You know, everybody like foot not show again, skin not show, just everywhere. Just, it's just covered. And... You know, a lot of people say, oh, everybody's just freaking out and it doesn't make sense that you cover yourself. Da 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 dead comfort. But we've never had this before, as far as I know. Um, in my 25 years of life, I've never heard of Corona before. So it's new to all of us, to most of us. So, you know, unless you didn't live through like cholera outbreak and stuff like that, you've never been in a situation like this where, you know, it's, it's terrifying I mean that's a lie if you've lived through Ebola or if you've lived in a country where Ebola and stuff like that you know affected so yeah but now it's corona time not a beer not a good type with the you know corona gets its lime and not that corona we're here to talk about being safe but because we are hair channel we're gonna be talking about how to be safe as it relates to hair safety hair care and tips that you can do to ensure that your hair which is like a big net um to capture germs and all the like is what i'm is what i'm tell me <laughs> yeah your hair is like a big old net that captures germs and holds it like for a good while until you wash it and whatever or until I guess the lifespan dies out and all of that so because we don't want our hair being net capturing germs and contaminants that may um, eventually affect us make us sick with the corona or spread it to our loved ones you know we are going to implement these tips so the first one which is what I'm about this um, is to cover your head Cover your head as much as is possible. I know that certain jobs don't allow for head covers. Um, you wouldn't wear this because this is a bonnet for you. Yeah, just to be worn in the side of the house. So you wouldn't wear this. But um, when you're on your way to work, you could cover your hair. I mean, it, it's going to look a little bit yeah, like ghetto or whatever. But for the sake of your health, don't mind looking a little bit ghetto, a little bit ratchet. Cover your ear. In Jamaica here, my pretty sure say, me go shop with this on my head, <laughs> right? I go to the shop with this on my head. I go to the supermarket sometimes. Um, maybe not this one. Maybe one that looks a bit more sporty. Maybe a, a kerchief, a handkerchief, or just some head wrap. Or sometimes I use a tight, you know, and I make that into a head wrap, and nobody knows that tight that I'm wearing on my head. So, just use what you can use. So. Yeah, cover your head, please. Cup. All right, my head too big for this. This fit me sometime. God no, best believe me. It not fit me now. <laughs> but cover your head. I worked in this um during the summer at Margaritaville. Let like, you know my resume here. Margaritaville as a hostess, a line cook with the mostess and these good things. Yeah, man, just cover your head. Refrain from touching your hair with unwashed hands all these tips are from both male and female so refrain from touching the hair on your head or the hair on your face with unwashed hands if you think you have to touch your hair or whatever please to sanitize sanitize 
sanitize please your hair on your face is even worse because ooh, I got some lip gloss yeah because when that germs seeps through all that germs seeps through the hair on your face it goes into your skin um, I'm pretty sure that your hair can hold germs longer than your skin can so can you imagine you just come out of a bus on the road right or a taxi you touch the taxi um handle to open the door and then you go in the car now and you sit down in there and you rub your face and then you have that dirty face for the whole day until you reach home then when you end up you get sick and you say but i'm not gonna wear i'm forgetting the corona but no sneeze spam me about this no but not that you touch your face with your hand even so, when you're out, you know, with your bombed hairstyle and your lace rings, you're like fixing those braids every minute, like touching your, your hair after you go touch the handrail walking down the steps at Sovereign or at your mall if you're in, you know, America at certain malls and whatever. You're having to wear a mall, right, name In a Florida. <laughs> yeah, you touch. And then you yeah, what now? You touch your hair and then this thing for the rest of the day, you bring this home with you. Guys, please don't touch your hair third step please to wash your hands more often please because in a in a nice in a nice when you have dirty hands it's whether or not it's corona going around you don't need to have dirty hands just have your hands being really clean all the time walk with your um sanitizer this is a bad bottle that we have alcohol in because we spray everything with alcohol or doorknobs and everything um, primarily because the Lysol ran out because we were late to the party so we didn't get any Lysol so we have alcohol in the bottle but I have some Dungatone wipes you can use your dear wipes whatever and if the wipe says it's hypoallergenic hypoallergenic rather and it doesn't have alcohol in there you can just pop the top open and spray some alcohol in it if you like and follow on your hands wash your hair more often um, if you're a male and you usually wash your hair like every two day, wash your hair every day. If you've got like a very low cut, wash your hair every day, right? If you're a female and usually go like a whole week without washing your hair, you can try washing your hair maybe every three days. Or if you know you, get, you keep it covered for like the whole week and whatever, you can probably leave it at a week still maybe five days but please do not um wait till two weeks time to wash your hair especially if you know you've had like a lot of exposure to people who may have corona or who may have been exposed to corona themselves clean your hair tools very 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 often i know of people who don't wash their combs or their brushes ever you nasty i've never been seen this yet in my own life but i know of people like i've done a survey online and i've seen people say no i mean can you imagine washing your hair then going ahead and using a dirty comb that you used like three weeks ago in your clean clean hair yeah that bad so wash your hair tools very often if you're a barber or a hairstylist more often for you wash the hair tools every use before and after every use so that you do not expose the next person or yourself to becoming contaminated and contracting corona or taking it home and passing it on to their more susceptible loved ones <laughs> susceptible loved ones right or are you even taking it home to give to your loved one yourself if you don't can't wash them because they're electronic um wipe them with some wipes sanitize them as best as possible use a rag with some warm water say a warm rag a warm rag warm water rag same thing and wipe them down your scrunchies wash them men your do rag wash them in your hand your kerchiefs that you use on your head wash them do not repeat them if you use one today don't use it tomorrow and say oh yes them and never really touch it mm -mm. wash it and do you hear at home that's the last one do you is it the last one no but do you hear at home if you can if you can avoid going to the salon or to the barber shop please avoid it as much as possible men try to shave yourself you know a little bit you don't have to go ahead and change the line because you can't really line up yourself 
uh, you know don't go and spoil your, your lineup but try your best to keep your hair low you know for yourself at home as much as is possible women you know try to keep in that hairstyle for a little bit longer wash it in between um slay your edges so your hair doesn't look that messy just try to avoid the shops and salons for a little bit if you cannot do them yourself there's so many youtube videos so many youtube channels like mine that help you to do your own hair uh you can check them out and practice at home and a bonus if your stylist or barber does house calls you can utilize that venue that avenue have them come to your home I'm not saying venue is part of this. <laughs> Another extra tip, a bonus tip. I'll have more tips on my blog. That is mainsandcrowns.wordpress.com. You can go ahead and check it out after this. If you've got little kids at home, if you've got nieces and nephews, and you know that they love to put their hands into your hair because babies have a thing with hair. Babies and toddlers and you know the little ones they like styling their hair for you or trying to style your hair and babies like to play with your hair, pull on it, maybe bite you in your hair and stuff like that. Please try to prevent them from doing that as much as is possible because you don't know what's there. You don't know um where you could have leaned their head for a split second and pick up something that somebody left there and you don't want to expose your loved ones to that. So I think those are my tips for this coronavirus and we don't want to catch it so we're going to do these tips and yeah we're going to follow these tips <laughs> yeah so please just be safe in these times I'm at home I'm utilizing the things that are available to me alcohol, wipes, sanitizer, bleach um, no Lysol because Lysol is sold out so I'm just utilizing everything that I have so guys I'm keeping my head covered I'm not going to worry about me still protect myself like whoa but I'm not going to be wearing any mask because they said that if you're not sick you don't need to wear a mask because then you go and you buy up all these masks and then the persons who really need it who may get you sick they have nothing to um, protect themselves and then they expose everyone to it <laughs> yeah, please protect everybody by protecting yourself and just being kind just be safe in these times so i'll definitely see you in my next video until then walk good live love laugh spread good vibes don't catch no corona subscribe like and share and i'll see you around the corner Mwah! <laughs>